everyone. Hi. Hi. I'm dying my hair for the first time and I'm like stress driving, which is never good. But I'm like kind of scared and I shouldn't be. This is no reason for Jasmine to be freaking out. But for some reason, I'm having a crisis because when I was younger, I made a vow to myself that I would never ever dye my hair. And now I'm like letting young me down. I'm also trying to tell myself that like people grow and evolve and change, but also like, of the whole mullet situation, the grown out mullet. No, I did not have a mullet. Basically last March, my hair was down to my belly button. And then I said, not anymore. This lady cut it. I told her I just wanted it like basically straight across, but then she cut layers that were three inches from the crown of my head. So then I had a mullet. We've been growing it on ever since. There's been lots of tears and I'm very excited to move on with my life. I'm kind of hoping that I feel like a new woman. Not but like new year new me but also like i like me we're moving on i don't know what i'm talking about can you tell that i'm very stressed i think i'm really stressed because after that lady ruined my hair anything that has to do with cutting my hair just kind of freaks me out a little bit now because i just it's been such a long process and such a horrible emotional journey that now i'm just really terrified it's over it happened we've moved on we've grown we've learned oh also the fucking the bang! Uh, uh. Not that they're like socially unacceptable. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with the way my hair looks. It's just not how I envision myself. Like when I think of me and what I look like and then I look in the mirror, shit doesn't add up, okay? I also think I'm stuck in the past. A little bit of therapy time. I think that I yearn to still be young me and be as free and careless as young Jasmine was. And young Jasmine has bright ass bleach blonde hair naturally. And so I think that part of me wants to look that way again so that I can secretly be young Jazz again and secretly have no issues again. A little bit of a power thought. Okay, the Chevy behind me can nicely fuck off. Really appreciate that, especially in this time of crisis. Thank you. Okay, so just so we have it on record, this is what I looked like before. said I didn't just spend the last five minutes crying in the car. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so I never actually stated why I was crying. I was crying because the whole time I was getting my hair done, I was so nervous and there were so many emotions running through me because I didn't want what to happen last time happen and I didn't want it to happen again. So then when I left, there was just like all this emotion that just needed to leave me. It was like relief and just like we did it and it's over and I love it. It wasn't that I didn't like it because I love it. It's perfect. Perfect. Like, thank you to the lady who did my hair. Like, girl, I love you. Okay. Like, mm, okay. I absolutely love it. I feel I look like Jasmine. I love this little like money piece moment. Okay. So pretty. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. I think I'm just still a little bit traumatized from what happened and just constantly worried that every haircut decision that I make is really bad. We definitely had to go a little bit shorter. It was a sacrifice, but it needed to be made. So then when I put it in a high ponytail, wait a second. Oh my God, thank God. It's not just a chunk. Oh my God, it's not a chunk. Oh my God, I don't have chunky hair anymore. Oh my God, I am so relieved. I I am so relieved. I look like me. I think that's why I just feel weird. Like this is exactly how I wanted my haircut when I got it cut the first time. So I think there's just a lot of emotions happening. Also the color, like I just, anyways, moving on. I need to process this, thank you. <laughs>
just wait till you see the rest of the fit, but also you're not allowed to see it because it's for a video. So just, I just have never felt so much like myself. I just feel so happy and cheerful and there is something that I would like to discuss. First of all, just like, hi. Second of all, I didn't really vlog anything else yesterday or anything this morning because of, you know, what happened. Today is Thursday and it really made my heart hurt a lot. So I took last night and this morning to educate myself, to watch the live streams of the news, make sure I was caught up with everything that was going on and so that I can be aware and educate and educate myself and know what it what is what is going on and why why it happened it's just really sad and it's really eerie to watch all those videos and think that that like just that's even possible you can skip forward if you don't want to listen but i do have a story in fifth grade i went to dc with my class it was a school trip and obviously we went to the capitol and i remember being however old i was 10 and i was just like terrified of all the security and all the police officers. I just remember that feeling of being really scared and intimidated by everything. They made us throw away like any cups that we had, bottles obviously, but all of our water bottles were empty, but they still made us throw them away. And I remember thinking that that was kind of strange. There were security like checkpoints throughout the building. And when I say security, I mean like airport security. I am not talking about like just a metal detector. Like our bags had to go through, you know, the screening thing. Our tour guide took us to, I'm really sorry if I get this wrong, but I believe it's called the Senate floor. It's like the where they make all the decisions, like what we've been seeing on the news where they've been counting the votes and wherever. But when they took us there, that whole room had its own security just to be able to go in that room. And you weren't on the floor, you were up in like the nosebleeds of that room. It was insane the amount of security. And it was just so mind boggling to me that like us as kids, it like took all these safety measures and security and don't do this and don't do that. Like it was scary. It was scary. As a kid, it was scary and intimidating. But then to think that like these grown ass fucking men dressed up in Viking whatever can just like storm right on in. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I need to get gas. We did it. I think I just want everybody to know that if you're feeling any anxiety or just sadness or frustration, just know I'm right there with you. All the emotions you might be feeling about this are valid. Anyways, well, I'm out and about because I have a couple errands to run. I need to go drop off depop orders at the post office, just making that cash. And then I have a return to make at Target. Fun. Also love the reflection of the star on my boot. That's really cute. Okay, so now that my hair is like straight across, now I really like it short. And part of me maybe like, don't mark my words, but maybe like wants it like even like a, maybe like a, I don't know, like a little bit shorter. I can't believe those words just came out of Jasmine's mouth. That Jasmine might want her hair shorter. Okay, post office time. Come with me. Right now I'm in Target and I'm trying to find some things for my video. I found one thing, I'm not gonna show you, but I did find something. <gasps> okay, and then Poppy's doggy bowl broke. Sis needs a new one. Oops, look where I am. Gosh darn it, how did I end up here? Oh no, not again. JK, I, I didn't find anything yesterday and I gotta go find. I'm still on the look for some things. Okay, hold on, bye. Hi everybody, just know I'm here. I'm currently walking in the very dark grass, which scares me. So you're here for protection. Oh, okay, there's a puddle. Fuck, okay. Oh, are there people there? Fuck me in the ass. That's what Lotus says. Lotus, I'm turning into you. Cause I just wanna dance around. Just wanna blast me music and just have a good time. We made it. I 
was like halfway home. That's dramatic. I had walked for maybe like five, 10 minutes. And then I realized that I left you guys at the basketball court. Sorry. I think, I think this is it. This is the end of this one. But we have to do question of the day. If you could have any hair color that isn't natural or multiple colors, what color would you dream of having your hair? I think I'd want like, obviously pink hair, but like bright pink hair. But there's like streaks of like blue and other types of purple, like pink purple blue situation. But like a, not like a neon, okay? We're talking like a, like a unicorn situation. Actually, no, I have a, I, I'm making a revision to the question. So imagine if the natural hair colors that we're born with weren't a thing and you were born with like funky colored hair. Like what color hair do you think that you would be born with? Because that's a whole separate answer. Like I think I would probably be born with like purple and blue hair. I think that's what Jesus decided for me. Um, but I think I'd want pink. I don't know. But I'm like trying to picture myself like as a kid and like what my vibe was. And I think like light pastel, like purple and light blue was the move for me. But I'd love to know. So I guess there's kind of two questions. I don't know. Answer whatever question you want. You could literally make up your own question. Really don't care. Just like have fun. We're just chatting up a storm. Um, and I love you guys. Don't forget to drink water and move your body in some way today or don't if you don't feel like it. It's your body, it's your choice. And also don't forget to take a deep breath if you're watching the news. Who knows what could happen by the next time that I see you. Shit could look a lot different, shit could look the same. I'm not quite sure, but whatever happens, take a deep breath, we're hashtag all in this together. I know it's scary, your feelings are valid. Jasmine the therapist is out. Thank you and good night Los Angeles, I love you.